Hi, Hip Kit friends. It's Sarah Miller House here, and I'm excited to share a layout with you today for Father's Day. This is not necessarily a traditional masculine layout, but it's definitely about our favorite dad in our life. And so I started with, uh, I'm using the main kit today. So I started with a uh, patterned paper from that main kit, and I am going to fussy cut all the way around this. So you could uh, leave this paper, you could have left that paper the way it was and left the white in the middle. It's beautiful that way, but I wanted to be able to bend up all of the leaves and flowers around the edge. So I invested the time in going around and cutting that out. So then I took it and I adhered it down to a piece of white cardstock, mixed media white cardstock, so that I can put some things on the background using um, products from some past color kits. So here what I'm doing really quickly is I am cutting out these hexagons. So I'm going to be uh, building kind of like a honeycomb background because I, I did use the phrase uh, busy being a great dad. So I am building kind of a honeycomb background to go along with that bee theme. So I did cut out all of those hexagons or a bunch of hexagons. I really only used about half the piece of paper. So I cut those out punched them out and then I also um, am distressing the edges. So here the technique that I'm using on this layout, if you can't tell, is I am using fussy cutting as my main technique. So I did that both with that first floral patterned paper and then these hexagons. And I love how those look. So then I also took this B is the only thing uh, that's not from the May kits. So this bee is actually from September. So it's a hip kit exclusive little bee, but it was from the September kits. I needed a bee and this one had all of the perfect colors to match this, um, the May hip kits. So I went ahead and used that little guy. And then on the background, you can see I'm adding some orange ink to that background. So this is one of the Catherine Puller inks from one of the past color kits and it's a uh, Tiki torch is the color. So I used my ink blending brush and I'm just adding that kind of down the center in the background. You can see it's not real even, it's kind of splotchy and that's totally okay. And then I'm gonna sprinkle some water. That's what I'm doing with my paintbrush right now. Sprinkling some water and I'm gonna just use my paper towel to pull that up. And the reason that that's so easy to do is because these Catherine Puller inks are um, water reactive, so um, water soluble. So you're able to add a little bit of water and pull some of that up, which is awesome. And then on top of that orange color, I am adding um, an Inklings in Bahama Mama. So this is also from a past color kit. And I'm just gonna add that sort of right there in the center. Um, and this is gonna kind of frame where my photos are gonna go. So you'll see that uh, once I keep adding to that layout, you'll see, you'll see where this mixed media is gonna go. So this is kind of a subtle detail in the background, but it definitely ties everything together. So um, I love adding color um, to my backgrounds. And that's why I also wanted to be able to fussy cut out that floral paper because I wanted some of that to kind of, to be able to tuck these things underneath these hexagons um, and still have mixed media behind it. So here I'm gonna go ahead and adhere down. I am using my T-square ruler to make sure, <laughs> make sure I'm um, adding them straight down, uh, lined up down the page. And so I am just gonna glue these. You'll see I'm not doing it solid on the background. I'm gonna kind of do like um, middle to middle, top middle to middle right. And then I'm gonna do the same thing, um, middle left to bottom left or bottom middle. So you'll see what I'm talking about here in a second. Sorry, it's kind of confusing the way I'm saying that, but I'm, I'm doing it on the right side, top right side of the photo and the bottom left side of the photo. So you'll see that those hexagons are gonna kind of hug hug that direction. And I did leave some holes, like it's not solid. Not every little spot has a hexagon um, in it. And that's okay, I like kind of how it looks to, to add them a little bit randomly. So this is, this orange pattern paper is from um, the, the May main kit. Love that orange paper. And I did use oranges on this layout. I went through and pulled out oranges because that's my husband's favorite color. So um, this layout is all about him and being a great dad. So I wanted to have, I wanted to have lots of orange on there. And I love orange too. It's a happy color, but that's definitely his favorite color. So there's my photos. These photos are actually from, um, I'm working through our Jamaica trip right now. 
and um, these photos are from a day that we spent in Ocho Rios at a dolphin preserve um, and swam with dolphins, but I loved these photos of my husband with my daughter. Um, he's definitely an amazing dad, and so I wanted to, I wanted to capture that for Father's Day. So here, I'm just adding some cheap craft foam from my local craft store. I add my own adhesive, super basic craft foam behind my photos, and I lined those up. And then now you'll see that I'm gonna kind of do the hexagons around to the top right of those photos. And you see me keeping lifting up the layout. I'm just looking to make sure that it's straight. <laughs> it's hard to see when it's laying down flat if it's straight. So that's why I keep picking it up like that. So I'm going to stop there. That's going to be my last one on that side, I think. And then I'm going to start in the middle at the bottom of the photo. And I'm going to build those hexagons around down there and then to the left. Because I knew I wanted my title to go to the bottom right of the photos. So you can see I kind of skipped ahead there. Um, so you can see those hexagons are off to the bottom and the left. And then the B. I popped up on a thicker craft foam and I have him up in the top left of the photos. Here I'm just adding a piece of yellow patterned paper. Oh, I haven't adhered down the B yet. I'm doing that right now. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and add him. I did uh, kind of curl up his wings. A little bit so that he looks kind of like he's flying off the page and then I'm gonna work on my my title so these letters are from the project the May project life kit I am gonna have them lined up um, very straight so I'm using my t-square ruler I've just got it sitting there and I'm um, resting those letters right up against the ruler to make sure that it's straight and that helps me that helps me keep the title straight so the title is busy and there's two shades of green letters in this in the project life alphas so i'm using both shades of green i'm just doing every other word so busy being and i did b in quotation marks because it's b e e so busy being a great dad super cheesy and i love it one of my friends i was working on this layout um while I had some friends over scrapbooking with me. And one of my friends helped me with the title, which was super fun. And it just goes to show that you can have a layout that's all about a great dad or a boy in your life or something like that. And it doesn't have to be like traditional boy colors or anything like that. I love, my son and my husband both love oranges and yellows and um, even pinks. So it's totally okay to do that. I'm getting that title on there. And you can see I am adding just a tiny, tiny, tiny dot of glue um, on each letter. So these letters have great adhesive, but I am adhering them down to an area that's got mixed media on the background. And then I want them to last forever. So what I have found is if you use items that are already have adhesive and you don't add anything to them, they stick really well for a while. But when I go back years later and look in my scrapbooks, I've been scrapbooking for 20 years, so, so sometimes when I go back in my very much older um, scrapbooks, sometimes I have found that things have fallen off. So now I add a little of my own adhesive and that seems to work really well long-term. So busy being a great daddy. And then now I'm gonna add some embellishments to that area. 
and to the photo, I'm gonna add a title, another title. So I kind of have two titles here. So the first one is gonna be you and me on the photo. I'm gonna add that just kind of resting right there on my pictures. This is from the ephemera that is in the main kit, I think. It actually might be in the embellishment kit, this ephemera. So you and me is that title. And then I'm just gonna add some hearts around. I've got some little puffy hearts and some chipboard hearts. And then I did add that little tab up above the photo and it's got silver foiling on it, which I love. And the silver foiling on lots of the things um, in the kits this month, which is super fun. And a newer thing for hip kit, which I, which is really, it adds a little extra to all of your things. Because everyone knows I love a little shine. All right, so I've got the heart there, you and me, busy being a great dad. And then I've got, I'm gonna add a couple more hearts here. These are some puffy hearts or enamel, enamel puffy hearts. And then um, I went around all of the flowers on the edge and just added a little bit of detailing. I did that with some of these enamel dots and then I also did it with um, off camera some pops of color. Tab adhered down it's got a little silver heart on it and then that is the layout and I've got some close-ups here for you to be able to see I hope you enjoyed the process if you are not already um, ordering the hip kits there's information down below for you to do that and you do get a five dollar discount when you um, become a monthly subscriber to the kits and you definitely should awesome hope you guys have a great day see you soon bye